Heel hook. <laughs> it is track walk day today. Today's track walk day. The Fox team is down at the pits. They're doing all the servicing on everyone's forks and shocks. The Fox team must be slammed. Today's not been too bad actually. Compared to some other races, feels quite chill. Oh, we're always busy. I mean, there is the usual track walk, huge amount of stuff to do, but yeah. not frantic, so quite nice. Wasn't too bad today. It was, uh, wasn't hectic. We got a bit better, better organization going on, so keeping it down. And um, yeah, I'd say it's been steady, but good, not panicky. It's always busy but it ha it's not as hectic as it has been. I think Lord's was just, was terrifying with how much stuff people brought in. And this is like A shock, B shock today. The rest of your stuff goes away, come back later. So we're way calmer and more organized here. And the team seem to be a little more organized. do this thing we go from the bottom of track walk up because the athletes go from the top of track walk down so you have a way better chance of running into all of them and asking them the hard-hitting questions that Jake and I are known for like we said last time in Lourdes we're trying to think of more interesting questions on the track but we still have seven races left in the season so like let us know if you have questions for track walk because there's gonna be plenty more opportunities to ask some interesting track walk questions. So for everyone watching at home, if you've ever seen a road gap and thought, that doesn't look very big, I could probably hit that, you've been wrong every single time, except this time. Drop. Wow. Stunts. Stunts. We're up here. Um, Trying to interview some people, ask about the track, um, and it's a dream come true. Wish you were here. <laughs> <laughs> if it was someone's first time ever riding the Fort William track, what's one tip that you would give them? Um, take out some pretty good insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my first time being here, I think it was in 2015 and it was really hard to remember the top sections because everything kind of looks uh, similar. I would just suggest to have a really clear uh, picture in your head how the track lo looks like because you can get confused and it's also very long so um, don't stop at the same spot for every run and yeah try to go on with it because um, race one is going to be a long one. <laughs> First time at Fort William, do less braking. I know it sounds stupid, the more you brake, the harder it is. Go fast, do more full runs. Don't keep stopping, get into a rhythm of doing full runs, or at least half a run at a go, minimum. Don't overthink it really. It's kind of just, it looks like a rock garden, but it's not. You kind of just ride, and it's just rough. Just get used to it. <laughs> Buying some rims. <laughs> no, I, I don't know, just keep the flow, I think, and uh, have some good arms and legs. To be good on your back at the bottom, so don't rush things at the top. <laughs> but it's a really long track, and it's easy to, to get fucked at the middle of the track, and then you're done. <laughs> I know the first time I came here, it kind of took me as a bit of a shock, because of how like obviously rough and long it is. I think it's just like, prepare to be shaken. <laughs> yeah, maybe like go to the like your local like hardware store, hop in the paint shaker, and then just like get, <laughs> get put like a minute on or something or four minutes, and then like you actually know. I think when you walk it, you kind of like notice all the big rocks and holes when you ride it, even though it's bad, you kind of like skim over a lot of it. So, but no, nah, it should be good. There's gonna be a massive crowd because we haven't been here for for two years, so it's gonna be. That's always epic coming to the bottom. It's like that cherry at the end. You're like, all right, we're getting there. And it's like so loud, so that'd be cool. But yeah. I don't know what other bit of advice I'd give you. Just hold on, pray, <laughs> all that stuff. <laughs> yes. It's kind of funny. We've been asking everyone else 
if it was someone's first time racing Fort William, what's a tip you'd give them? Oh, dude. And it is your first time, it right? It is my first time. <laughs> what have they been saying? What are, what are the <laughs> Yeah, tips? right? You, what's first impressions from a first timer here? It's uh, it's a big wow. You see GoPro videos, you see the world like the, the World Cup race and watching it live and stuff, and it yeah, it doesn't do it justice. It's 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 the dirt's way different than it looks. The rocks, there's just so many more of them, and uh, yeah, you don't even see it, but the wind is a real big factor here. So yeah, there's just a lot more going on than what you see, and uh, it's crazy. First practice is tomorrow morning, so it should be good. I'm uh, really looking forward to it. Got a couple things to talk to Jordy about on the bike, and then we'll be sorted. I, I think there's going to be a massive shock to the system for a lot of people of just riding a track this long, this rough. So we'll probably be looking at trying to get hands to survive a full run. And I don't know what that means for different people as far as like trends. The track's in the best condition it's been in for a while and it's not going to be that way for long. So, which is kind of cool because you can warm up into it. But I think, again, we're going to go harder and harder towards race day. Because especially in the wind, like some of the jumps at the end, are they're big. Like, for some people it's going to be tricky to clear them, so you really got to work on speed and sometimes a stiff setup helps carry speed over that smoother stuff any like tech updates with the new things y'all have been working on not yet got to get some times on the track i mean obviously danny and max hartenstern had it for the bds danny won and max where did max end up like 12. so that speaks well uh, I think we're in a good place. With the majority of the servicing being done and track walk day in the rear view mirror, we are finally to the best part of the week, which is when people start riding mountain bikes. So we will see you tomorrow for the first day of practice here in Fort William. If there was one one invention to the bicycle that could be added what would it be <laughs> <laughs>